unfortunately, very, a very sad day uh, for us here at Heritage with the passing of uh, Lady Thatcher. Uh, Lady Thatcher uh, reached the grand age of 87. Uh, she outlived the vast majority of her adversaries, of her critics. She was a leader who transformed Britain from the sick man of Europe into once again a great nation and an economic a powerhouse. She was a leader who transformed not only her own country, but much of the world as well. In fact, the Thatcher Revolution really laid the foundations for the, uh, for the Reagan Revolution uh, in the United States. And Lady Thatcher was a hugely successful politician because she was always a conviction politician. She held to a deep seated set of conservative beliefs. She always stood by conservative principles. She was a politician of tremendous courage and conviction. And Margaret Thatcher always believed firmly in the ideal of American leadership on the world stage. It was her view that without American leadership, uh, this world is a far more dangerous place. And in order to protect and advance her legacy in the United States, she established the, the Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom, here at Heritage, uh, in 2005. It's the only center in the world uh, that is uh, named after Lady Thatcher. And she set up her center in Washington, not in London, uh, because she has so much faith in American global leadership. And heritage really is at the very center of American leadership. Without the Heritage Foundation to advance core conservative uh, principles, without the Heritage Foundation to defend what conservatives uh, believe in, it's impossible really to advance and protect the, the legacy and the tremendous uh, successes of Margaret Thatcher uh, and Ronald Reagan. So our role here at Heritage, I think, is crucially important. We are the, the vanguard, we are the, the flag bearers of Reagan's vision. We are the flag bearers of Margaret Thatcher's vision. And Heritage has always had a very special place in Lady Thatcher's heart. And I, I saw her, in fact, in London just a few uh, months ago in December. Uh, and she was very, she was very cheerful. She was contented. She was very tranquil, actually. Uh, and the first question she asked me when I saw her in London was, how is the Heritage Foundation doing? Because she has always, always felt that Heritage is a special place, that Heritage is a place that protects and defends conservative beliefs. And Margaret Thatcher was a conservative conviction politician. And it's important for us, I think, all to, to remember on this, this day especially, the importance of moving forward with core conservative beliefs. Because if the Heritage Foundation does not defend these very values that Margaret Thatcher fought for, then America will be a far less prosperous society, a society that does not hold on to the beliefs of individual freedom, individual liberty. And for Margaret Thatcher, individual liberty, individual freedom are what makes the United States a great nation. And as we move forward now from Lady Thatcher's uh, passing, I'm sure that she would be absolutely delighted to see so many conservatives uh, fighting for the cause of freedom here at, at the Heritage Foundation. Uh, and, and I know that uh, she will be smiling down upon all of us uh, from, from high above, comforted in the knowledge that she has tremendous uh, people here at Heritage who will advance and fight for the very values that she fought for uh, throughout her life. So today we, we pay tribute to the Iron Lady in my view, the greatest 
a British politician of our time, one of the greatest figures of modern times, a figure who fought for everything that we believe in as, as conservatives. Uh, and, may, and may we go forward now fighting for those principles and advancing the vision of the great Iron Lady. Thank you very much. <laughs>